Welcome to the next session of Ansys Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are analyzing a hollow rectangular column for random vibration analysis. As the word suggests random vibration, it means a building, suppose, is subjected to a lot of random vibrations from the ground. It could be because of any object which is moving or vibrating inside the building or say outside it. It could also be a case of in plates moving you know, beneath the surface of earth, which is not exactly like a proper earthquake, but at least the sliding of the plates which happen. So there can be a lot of reasons for vibration coming onto a column or a building. So that's what we are trying to analyze here. Let's start by double clicking on static structural. This is a problem of multiphysics. You are going to use three modules over here. The first being static structural. I'm keeping the engineering data as structural steel itself. If you want, you can change the data and you can put up any other material which is as per the requirement of your project. Next, I'll go to geometry, right click, new design model geometry. Units, millimeter, XY plane, look at. We are making a very simple rectangular column. I'll first make a rectangle and give it dimensions. Say it is 30 by 150. I'll extrude. Say the depth is again 30. Generate. I'm creating a new plane here on this face. And then I will again draw a rectangle. Say this is 24 by 24. I will get the horizontal dimension and the vertical dimension. Both will be 3 each so that this rectangle is exactly at the center of the previous one. Then I will go for extrude again. Apply. Here the operation is going to be cut material such that I can create a hollow rectangle. And the depth is 150 generate. So you can see here the hollow rectangle has been created. This is a hollow rectangular column. So geometry is done. Next I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll go to mesh, right click, insert method. I'll choose the entire column. And method I will choose as hex dominant. I'll update. Next, I will choose sizing of the entire body. Here by default it is 7.7. .7. Let me give 2 mm such that the mesh is very small. In all the videos, it is not possible to always give the same meshing so i tend to use different types of meshing in each and every video you can use whatever you require for your own project based on these meshing options next i'll go to static structural insert fix support at this edge and i'm going to apply force on this top edge I change vector to component. Along the y axis, I will apply a load of minus 5000 Newton. Then I'll go to solution and insert deformation directional. I want to see the deformation along the y axis. I also want to see the total deformation. We'll see what is the stress value and the strain value. Here if you want you can also choose fatigue tool and you can see the life of this object. I will leave it to only 
this calculation i click on solve this is the directional deformation of the body you can animate and check the result this is the total deformation over the body the maximum value is 0.011542 mm you can see here the unit is given this is the equivalent stress over the body the value is 30.751 mega pascal that's the maximum value you can animate and check the results and this is the elastic strain over the body the maximum value being 0.0015375 strain has no unit you can see here it is written the unit is mm upon mm which means no unit at all it's a ratio of same two quantities change in length upon original length is a formula so this completes the static structural analysis next we will use the second module which is modal analysis so i'll drag and drop it over the solution we'll double click on setup now here you can see structural analysis is already there and modal has got added to it in modal analysis what we do is we directly go and solve for this body by default the number of modes is 6 you can see here maximum modes to find is 6 by default so we have already found for 6 modes so i'll click here right click select all right click create mode shape results everything is done i'll go to solution and so on so now you can see this is the first deformation over the body this is the total deformation the frequency is mentioned here and also at the right end for the first mode the value is 1290.5 hertz and this graph over here is showing the total deformation which is 99.788 for the second one you can see this is how the body is going to deform the value of maximum deformation is 99.79 mm and the frequency is 1290.6 hertz this is the third modal frequency you can see here these are the natural frequencies of this body the value is 4626.8 hertz this is the fourth deformation over the body This is the fifth one whose frequency is 5877.9 hertz and the maximum deformation here is 99.398 which is the maximum value and the last one has value 120.12 this is the deformation value and the frequency is 6019.3 hertz you can create more number of mode shapes in this by increasing the value from here you can see you can change the values i am not changing it i am giving it to 6 if you wish you can increase or decrease the number of modes now this completes the second module which we have used which is called as modal analysis now the third one that we are going to go for and the final one is random vibration this is what we are trying to analyze for the body. When you are going for random vibration, you have to perform the modal analysis before and then go for random vibration because whatever natural frequency is there, that has to be tapped. Only then you can go for random vibration of the body. So please make it clear that whenever you go for random vibration analysis, you have to go for modal analysis. Now, if you don't do static structure analysis, that's okay. But I just wanted to show you how the body is going to behave under a normal static structural analysis and how it would behave when there is a random vibration which is given to the body. Also, you can note that modal analysis is also a form of vibration analysis. It is just measuring the free, undamped, natural vibration of the body. Next, we will go for random vibration set up double click on it now here you can see structural analysis is taken up to here then you have the modal solution and finally comes the random vibration
Now in random vibration, we need to give an input. When you right click here, you can see it is in the form of either acceleration, velocity, PSD, G acceleration. This is another form of acceleration given and PSD displacement. So for this object, we are giving PSD displacement as the value. Now I will show you what do I mean by this. Here if you see, it is asking for boundary condition. So I will give the boundary condition as fixed support which we have given. Now here is the point where we want to see these kind of vibrations and it is also asking for the tabular data which can be created here. Now this I am going to create. So we will go to Excel now. Here I will write the first column as modes and the second as frequency in hertz. This we can get directly from here. When I go to this total information, here is the modes and frequency data. Just select it, copy and paste. Next, we will note down the displacement from each analysis. Like for the first one, it is 99.788. For the second one, it is 99.79. And likewise, we will write for the next four. So I have taken up the data from my ANSYS file. And last, we are going to make over here something which is already asked over here. If you see here, it is asking for displacement, which is in the form of mm square per hertz. So that is a simple calculation that we are going to do. Now I'll do a small change. That is this displacement. I will write it as deformation. So that there is no confusion here. Now for this displacement, we will write a formula equal to mm square. So this is an mm. So I will multiply this value twice and then divide by hertz. So this value is in hertz. So we will solve and get this answer. And then I will drag it for the rest of the values. So this is the answer for the rest of them. Now if you want, you can just round this off to two digits. I will leave it to whatever it is. Now we just need this data of frequency. So I will just copy it somewhere else. And this is the other value that we need. So I will copy this beside it. Only the values. Now this value I am going to select together. And here, I'll directly paste it. So this is the data that we need. So it is also asking for a direction. So I want to see this kind of displacement along the y-axis because you can see this is the alignment of the body. So this is completed. This is the input required. Now what I want to see as the result is the deformation. So I will go for directional deformation along x-axis. I also want to see the deformation along the y-axis. Now if you want to find along the z-axis, rather than selecting again, just go here and select duplicate so it can be easily created. So along x, y, z-axis, I'll get the deformation. Apart from this, I also want to find the stress equivalent and I want to see the response. PSD tool, PSD stands for power spectral density. What it exactly means is here we are giving a harmonic kind of motion to the column. Harmonic motion is a simple sinusoidal or cos wave kind of motion we can give to the body and we can find out what is the dynamic response of the body which means when you give some kind of motion how will your body react? And this is not a static analysis. This is going into a dynamic kind of motion. So here we are finding the response of this body. Now if you click on this response PSD, it will ask for geometry. So I will select a point on this body. So let me choose this outer vertex over here. Apply. 
Now here you can also give the result selection. I want to see along the y-axis. It is showing the result type is displacement. Next I will go to solution and solve it. You can see the directional deformation here. The maximum value is 0 0.034279 on this body along the x-axis. This is the deformation along the y-axis. You can see where the value is more 0 0.027053. This is the directional deformation along the z-axis on the body. The value is 0 0.046469. This is the directional deformation value in mm. This is the equivalent stress over the body. The maximum value is 264.25 megapascal. And here is the response PSD of this object. Now we have already selected a corner which has been highlighted over here if you can see. So this is showing the response of this body. You can see these are the frequencies to which it has been subjected. There are many values which you can find here. This one zero eight values generated. And here you can see this is the response PSG of this body, which is the value of displacement. You can check the units. It is the same value which we had given mm square per hertz. So it is generated over here for all these random frequencies that this body has been subjected to. So you can see here what would be the value of displacement. So that's how you analyze this body for random vibration analysis and interpret the results. So this column over here is actually a representation of the building which can be subjected to a lot of random vibrations. So with this I end the session. I hope you have understood how to analyze for random vibration analysis. In the next session we will be analyzing a spring for the same analysis type. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.